This SHOT Show coverage is sponsored by Body Arm Vent and Night Vision Inc. Links will be in the description. Okay, guys, we got Bo from LBX Tactical. We're at the last day of SHOT Show, and we're just trying to wrap up. Yeah, That's last right. day. Last day. Bo Crazy. looks swamped. He looks like he's 60 years it old. It hadn't been that bad. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyway, thanks, Dave, for stopping by. But we want to show you guys what's kind of coming from LBX, where we are, and what we're looking forward to getting produced this year. We're excited. So the first thing we're going to do is the LBX 0300 new. Now, granted, please, guys, remember when you're watching this video, everything that you're seeing in this video, these are not final production runs. These are prototypes. We're working on new concepts, getting some ideas from our end users, and figuring out how we can make this stuff better. With that being said, this is the first 0300 new version that will take the clip. So right now we're waiting to find out if we're going to ship the plate carrier with both clips or one set. It doesn't matter. We've listened to you guys. Come to find out, we're going to go ahead and offer the option to use both sides clips. So if you can use all the LBX panels you want, but if all the other great gear out there, you want to clip that into our plate carrier, that'd be fine also. So this is, we're really excited. This is looking like Gosh, six months maybe for when we finally release it. Um, we'll come out with another uh, elastic cummerbund that'll have some options for some storage inside as well. Really excited. The only thing really different now is that the Zero 0300 will not have the removable back like the Armatus line. Cool. So kind of moving forward, um, you guys know the Armatus. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, the Armatus has been out for about three years now and we're working on our third gen. So we're looking at doing laser cut, listen to a lot of law enforcement, military guys that are using our kit. And we want to add a lot of cable management options, places for comms. Um, we added the GRG option and um, laser cut. We're super stoked to get this thing out. Um, got a lot of good feedback, how to make it better from our, like I said, our prototype version. One of the big things people ask us with the Arminus line is how can I carry more mags bow? I want to be able to keep uh, outside in the fight a lot longer. So what we've done is we're working on this whole concept of a heavy panel. Um, the panel is, again, it's not the final one, but you're going to be able to hold in this one up to eight mags, wow. um, which is great, um, possibly a 12. But these, please don't look at this. This is just showing that there will be some sort of admin radio pouch mag pouch or not sure yet yep. on the side. And the tassel system made to be Correct. customizable. Correct. So the whole concept is you will have one of these when you get the heavy the heavy panel. Mm -hmm. and you'll molly it in where you see fit. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to add your heavy, that will be your form of attachment to the plate carrier. Interesting. So this will be molly loop, not just loop, but molly loop. So you can leave it on there and utilize it for every day. But your goal is to attach to the carrier like that. And we've done a lot of tests. It's worked really well so far. And this is the next gen Armitus? Yes, that's correct. We don't know the name yet. It could be just the Gen 3. It could be the Armitus 3. Don't know. Um, but the panel system, gut it, flat it, holds up to 12 mags, a lot of options. Super stoked about the heavy. Um, again, this is probably a 75% accurate um, piece, but it's definitely in the works and we're very excited to get that sucker going because we know you guys want it. Um, What's going on over here? Okay, so one of the biggest things that we're super stoked about is obviously getting the MGP back in stock. Uh, I'm telling <laughs> What's you, man. What's the MGP? We have had a lot of people ask us about, this is our minimalist gear pack. Okay. And this thing actually has been a staple for a while since we first released it, what, about a year and a half ago. Sold out of Multicam Black twice, sold out of Ranger Green multiple times, Coyote Brown, etc. And now we're trying to make a few mods to make it a little better. And the only thing really is now we're going to add the option for the clips. Again, we're not sure if we're going to, it's going to come with one inch and three quarter. We're not sure, but the option will be there to mount whatever system you want. Um, we also added the GRG functionality. So if you wanted to slap your GRG pouch on it and then strap it down on the top, you can. But the beauty of this little sucker is now you'll be able to take the panels with the clips and uh, it'll come back in all the Gucci colors everybody wants. Very so, cool. Um, another bag we're looking into, there's no name yet, but it will be kind of like our quasi-civilian, I ah, don't know, really know what we're going to call it. It's basically a uh, thought process from the LBX Outdoor brand that will be coming here in the next couple of years. But this is more of a simple bag, not quite so military or, or tactical look, but something that can hold a laptop and use for every day, like an EDC bag, etc. 
Um, send David whatever names you think this could be, and maybe you guys can name this back. So who knows? <laughs> but really, there's a lot of other things that are coming out with LBX, but this is really what we focused on was the MGP, the new plate carriers, and the heavy panel. So look for a lot more stuff coming out from LBX this year. We're excited. We appreciate everybody's support. Send us your ideas and whatever stuff you want to talk about. We'd love to, uh, to hear them. So this is Bo, LBX Tactical. Thanks for watching. Thanks, David, for having me. Thank you, Bo.